Double HD Nation stand up and welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day today. We are going over some Marvel character cars from I believe 2018. Yes, we have a copyright of 2017 on there as well as the brand new 2020 Mario cars copywritten in 2019. So very cool. First, we will start with the older models and that are that would be the Marvel cards. I'm so excited to have these. And I know these are a few years old, so this review is a little bit delayed as we as we know. But you know what? That's all right because I was able to find the full set at Target if you guys saw my haul video. If not, I will link that at the end of this video. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the very first car, which is Cyclops. Ah, uh, Cyclops, so yeah. I wish we would have had like a Jean Grey with this, but we got Storm, who is one of my favorite X-Men, but that's all right. As we can see, we have first appearance of Cyclops. Very cool. Now, I don't know if that's first appearance for Hot Wheels or like this is his comic book first appearance. I don't know. You guys can help me out in the comments down below with that. But yes, this is part of the Hot Wheels character cars line. Cyclops is a sweet looking drag car almost. It looks like he has a wheelie bar on the back. Definitely has a Dodge Charger vibe to him. I love the laser eye windshield. That's freaking sweet. Very cool. Love these character cars. No, these will not be getting opened. I am leaving them in package. Collect them all. You have Cyclops, Storm, Magneto, Deadpool. You have the Holy Trinity of Iron Man, Captain America, and Thor. And then you have the Gamma Monster himself in Hulk. Each sold separately. Subject to availability, colors, and decorations may vary. All right, as you can see, copywritten 2017. So pretty sweet. They still have them in stores. Very happy about that. All right, there's number one, Cyclops. All right, next up, you have my favorite X-Man, and that is Storm. She is freaking sweet. First appearance again. I always thought Storm's powers were just the best to be able to manipulate weather like that. Awesome. As you see, she has some lightning going down the side of her. You have her white hair. Love it. Of course, you have the windshield is that frosted color like her eyes turn when she uses her abilities. Very awesome car. I love it. Definitely got a Batman-esque car from this. Same thing on the back. And there you have it. There's Storm. I wish I was able to find another set for you guys so I could open them up and show them to you. But, you know, collectors, we like to keep our stuff in packages for the most part. Next up, you have Magneto. Now, Magneto is definitely interesting. He's probably my favorite villain of the X-Men series, if you can call him a villain. I know in the comics he's definitely a villain, but in the movies he's kind of kind of like an anti-hero, like that guy. But Magneto's car is definitely interesting. It kind of has like a cloak and dagger feel to it where it, the wheels are covered and it has a little, if you guys can see this, little itty bitty wheels under there. So I bet he is fast in downhill racing, but unfortunately we will never know. Definitely love the maroon and purple that are with his true colors. I love that Magneto. Oh yeah. All right, and there you have Magneto. All right, next up you have the Merc with a mouth in Deadpool. Oh yeah, this makes me want to play the Deadpool game now. <laughs> yes, there is Deadpool. He definitely has an off-road buggy kind of a look to him. Of course, you got the dual swords on the back. Love it. Of course, you have the cartoon Deadpool logo right there. Of course, his windshield is... Oh, nope. His eyes are yellow there. But in, like, the movies, you will see white eyes. For example, the Ryan Reynolds movies, he has white eyes. And as you guys can see, it that is a frosted white color. Definitely love the buggy look to this thing. This thing is pretty big. Of course, you got some, you got some satchels there on the back for carrying some stuff. I just love the artwork behind the vehicles. It's really nice. 
very cool. I did forget to mention these are for, oh, look at this. This is, this is interesting. <laughs> okay. Now all the rest of them have ages three and up, excluding Deadpool. He is for ages 14 and up. That is definitely interesting because, uh, well, he has quite the potty mouth and uh, he's not afraid to decapitate some people. So yeah, I like that. Good job, Hot Wheels. Now we get on to my favorite Avenger of all, and that being Iron Man. I know a lot of people like to say Captain America or Thor. I mean, a lot of people say Iron Man too, but Iron Man is definitely my favorite Avenger. He was definitely well done and brought to the big screen by Jon Favreau, and we can thank him for the MCU. But Iron Man's car is definitely amazing. Love the robotic look to it. Of course, you got the gold and red. I love it. Of course, on the back, his exhaust pipes are like his chest piece. They look like they may power the car. Love the wheels. This thing is sweet. Oh, yeah. Man, I bet this thing is fast. Oh, resist to open, resist to open, resist to open. But there you have it. Iron Man. Oh yeah. All right, moving on. We have America's ass himself. Oh yeah, Captain America. I hope we get an Ant-Man car. That'd be cool to have like a little bit Ant-Man car or a giant man car. Maybe like a two pack of a giant man in an Ant-Man car. Oh man, that'd be sick. I'd buy that. Let me know if the comment, let me know in the comments down below if you guys would buy a giant man and Ant-Man two pack if Hot Wheels did that. I know I would. But yes, Captain America, definitely got the sports car theme to him. Very sharp looking. Love the wings behind the windows. And of course you have the Avengers logo right there on his rear fender. I did not notice that on Iron Man's car. Moving on to the back, nothing really there, no tampos or anything. Of course you have the star and A, but let's take a closer look at the detailing on the hood. It looks just like his chest. Well, not here. But in the Avengers movies, you, this is definitely the way his chest plate looks. I love it. Love the tan accent, the red windows. This is a great looking car. The only thing I am not noticing is... I don't... I can't see the other side. And I'm pretty sure it's the same. But I'm not seeing like a shield representation. I know you have the star like on the shield, but hmm, I don't know. I think I probably would prefer just like an actual shield, like a little shield logo someplace, like right there on the back would have been sweet. But you know, I dig it. Captain America. All right, moving on to the God of Thunder. You have Thor. Thor Odinson, very awesome. Of course, this is definitely one of the sweetest cars in the bunch. I love the yellow wheels, and I love the Milner accent right there on the hood. I don't know if that moves or not. Nah, I don't think so. Well, it may. It looks like it does swivel a little bit. Doesn't look like it. Oh, wait. As you guys can see, see that right there? See the front wheels? They have the little notches right there. So when these wheels go around, the hammer will move. So uh, that automatically defaults him for being a good track car because those little notches on those wheels will slow the cars down incredibly, as you guys saw with Rock and Santa Sled or, uh, or uh, uh, the mini Skull Shaker. Skull Shaker, yeah. But I love the wing accents on the back with the red cape. Of course, you have his, his breastplates right there. Very nice. Love the silver. Of course, you also have like his arm shield right here, the way his arm shields look. Of course, this does not have the arm shields, but in the Avengers movies, he has the arm shields. If you guys recall from the Thor movie, every single little plate puts it up, goes on by itself when he gets the powers of Thor back. Awesome. Very sharp looking car. All right, and lastly, Hulk Smash. Hulk, get back. Get back here. All right. Now, this is Hulk. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, I'm dying to go to Universal to ride the Hulk roller coaster. It's the only reason I really want to go to Universal. Well, and Harry Potter. But regardless, Hulk is definitely a beast of a car, but he is not as big of a beast as Deadpool is. So that's kind of shocking. I figured he would be like a bigger model. I mean, he is big, but you know what I mean. Of course, you have his blue trousers right there on the back. Got the brake light tempos. And of course, on the hood, are those feet? I can't tell if those are supposed to be feet or fists. Looks like they're fists. Nope, I don't know. Oh, look at this. You got like a mouth right there. That's sweet. I love that accent. Right above the brush guard, you have... You can see some teeth peeking through. Oh, yeah. Hulk is definitely... It's pretty buff. Pretty buff here. Yeah, and there you have it. There's Hulk. And as you guys saw, we have the complete set. Cyclops, Storm, Magneto... Deadpool, Iron Man, Cap, Thor, and Hulk. All right. Next up, Mario. All right, moving on to the 2020 Mario character cars from Super Mario. And, of course, you start with the boss man himself in Mario. I loved the tuned-looking car. It is sweet. Of course, you got his little hat there above his eyes. You got his... Signature mustache and signature yellow buttons on his overalls. I wish the blue would have been a little bit darker. As you guys can see, this blue on his overalls is definitely way darker than the blue on the base of the car. But you know what? That's all right. Has a nice little spoiler dual exhaust on the back. Of course, you got the M on the hat. Very awesome. I love this car. It's pretty sweet. And of course, there are eight cars in this line we all we have all eight copywritten in 2019 which if you guys know new for 2020 these are recommended for ages three and up one of eight there you have mario moving on to luigi he definitely got a pickup vibe i dig it i dig the pickup i actually really like the pickup I like it way better than Mario. But then again, I like Luigi better than Mario. So yes, he is a pickup, but again, another fault in the colors. Look how bright this green is, and look how dark they went with the base. That's a little, honestly, in my opinion, it is a little too dark, especially when you have the bright blue underneath. This green should have been lighter. This blue should have been darker. I don't know what happened with the painting process, but I don't, I, again, I don't work for Mattel. I just like to showcase their products. So I wish this would have been done a little bit better, but I do enjoy the chrome, the matte chrome engine. Of course, you have the signature hat with the L. You have his swirly mustache opposed to Mario's where it's more scruffy. This is just like a kind of like an upside down M. Of course, again, you have the yellow buttons that are on the overalls. Again, even the yellows are a little too dark compared to the button overalls. But again, you know, I'm sure it's just a, it's just a whoopsie. Of course, I love the blacked out rims with the black tires. That looks really nice. Nice taillight decos. Luigi. All right, next up you have Princess Peach, who is in a sport coupe looking car. Now this car is really done well, you guys. I love the sparkly pink they put with it. And of course you have her chest piece right there as you guys can as it is shown illustrated right there but this is what sold me on this car the gold interior of course it does look like her crown on the back i love it almost looks like <clears throat> where the top's down it would come up and cover like have some jewel pieces just right above the windshield but i love the gold interior of course i see a stick shift but i do not see a steering wheel Unless that's supposed to be the wheel. That may be the steering wheel. I don't know. Of course, I love the yellow trunk. Very awesome. Dual exhaust. Love the white and pink rims. Just an all-around really well-done car. Let's take a look at the headlights real quick where it kind of looks like her eyes. You guys can see there. Kind of got the, the winged eyeliner and the eyes. Very cool. Looks like it's giving a good old peach grin. Oh, yeah. Princess Peach. And of course, next up we have my favorite Mario character of all, and that is Yoshi. Meow. 
And Yoshi definitely got a tow truck vibe. Again, they went darker with the green than Yoshi really is. The red looks on point, so I can't, I'm not gonna fault that. But Yoshi is definitely a tow truck. Why? Because, well, Mario rides on Yoshi. So that's pretty cool how they made Yoshi a tow truck. I'm pretty happy with that. Of course, it does look like he is grinning there. Got the silver headlights. And he def they definitely went old school tow truck with this. I love the orange wheels. That's that's a nice touch. Of course, you have the egg on the bed. Very nice. I am curious if this articulates and goes up and well, not really articulates, but goes up and down. I'm curious. But not opening, not opening, because these are five dollars a piece, at least where I bought them. And that was at a local grocery store. Of course, you got the side exhaust pipes. I love that. There you have it, Yoshi. All right, next up you have Toad. Toad definitely went, they went minuscule with Toad as they should, because Toad is a smaller character. All right, let's point out the paint color. No, oh, actually the color looks pretty well here. They, they match the skin tone perfectly. So that is nice. They even got his vest on point from what I can tell with the yellow striping and the blue. And of course, I love the top piece. It has this little toadstool. I love it. White and red look really good. Love the black headlights. And of course, got like a little grin bumper. <laughs> I dig it. Little toad. All right, next up we have the big bad Bowser. Now, Bowser definitely went with an off roady Baja looking. SUV kind of a vehicle and I absolutely love it. This may be my favorite car of the bunch. Oh yes. Look at Bowser. They even his tail is even in the form of a hitch. I love that. Look at the exhaust pipes right in front of the front tires. Love that. Of course you got the spikes on the roof. Just like his shell. And of course you have Basically what would be his hair on the hood. You guys can see, you got the mohawk. The orange and tan are really well done. They match really well. As you guys can see, his skin cone kind of turns from the tan to the orange. As you guys can see here, I love it. I mean, they even did the spikes perfectly with the red circles and then the tan spikes, really nice. Got the big old tires on that. And of course, the front bumper is in a downward kind of a, kind of like a face. I love it. Even the headlight decos have the, like the squinted angry eyes. So there you have it, Bowser. All right, next up you have DK, Drift King. No, Donkey Kong. <laughs> Donkey Kong is definitely more of a Jeep style vehicle and I love it of course it does have the infamous barrel on the back that he likes to throw at people now again oh no wait okay well I I got ahead myself the brown and tan are really well but as you guys can see the beadlocks are definitely more of a red but they did that to match his tie it looks like so uh, very awesome there they did really well with that of course, you got DK right there on the bumper. Of course, you got his pompadour right there on top. I love it. You got the brake light decos. Really well done. Donkey Kong. Awesome. Oh, hi, little JJ. And lastly, we have one that I honestly didn't expect to be in this line, and that is Bullet Bill. Now, Bullet Bill definitely has, well, you know, he, they didn't they didn't really need to do much with Bullet Bill. They just needed to strap wheels on him. <laughs> and, of course, they definitely gave him, like, an old IndyCar Formula One-looking ride or maybe even a salt flat car. But this is a great-looking model, and this is my favorite of the bunch just because it is so simple, and it is basically true to what Bullet Bill looks like. The Rocket. Like I said, all they had to do was strap some wheels on him. They didn't even need to add the arms or anything. So 
here is Bullet Bill. Of course, you got the angry eyes and the fists. Let's look on the wheels, see if the fists are, I don't know if they're just positionable or, yes, they are. So, so these wheels are not like Thor where when they go around, they move the arms. So that is a plus. So this would probably be a really good track car. Not for boosters or anything, because if you put this through a booster, the wheels are going to bend. And you don't want that. But it is a one-seater. Let's go ahead and look at the back where the rocket is. Nice. I love the chrome. Awesome. So yeah, Bullet Bill is really is real simple, and that's what I really like about Bullet Bill. All right, guys. Do one final overview and wrap it up. All right, and one final overview of the 2020 Super Mario character cars, as well as the 2018 Marvel character cars featuring the X-Men and the Avengers. I do love how they went with four X-Men and four Avengers. I really enjoy that. But yeah, you guys, it's time to go ahead and wrap it up. Now, of course, you're not going to see my beautiful face, even though I'm right there in the mirror. But guys, if you enjoy this video, go ahead and smash that like button. That lets me and YouTube know you do enjoy the content and you want to see more of it. This is Hawkeye Hauler Diecast, where we review, showcase Hot Wheels cars, Hot Wheels tracks, and we hold Hot Wheels competitions, which you got. I'm not going to show you this track very much. I mean, if you're on my Discord, you will see that this is a new work in progress, but it will not be debuted for quite some time until it is perfected. So you definitely want to make sure you're subscribed and have that bell rung so you never miss a future upload because videos are nearly daily. Like I said, go ahead and drop your comments down below. I asked you guys a question earlier in this video. Would you guys pick up a two-pack of Giant Man and Ant-Man if Mattel and Hot Wheels would put that out? I definitely would. I think it would be a great collectible. So uh, Mattel, Hot Wheels, if you're watching, I would recommend doing that because uh, I'd be first in line. <laughs> But guys, go ahead and follow all my socials. All those links are down below. Go join the Discord. It's definitely a fun place to be to chat it up about Hot Wheels. It's a great Hot Wheels community. If you guys want to become a patron, that link is down below. For as little as $3 a month, you can help support the channel. If that's not in your wheelhouse, go ahead and head over to my PayPal email. Do a single-time donation. Like I said, if you guys want to send me some Hot Wheels, Send me an email down below. We can chat it out because I have yet to work up a P.O. box. But I will say when this track gets completed, uh, you'll, well, you just wait and see. <laughs> Head over to my Teespring store, pick up a shirt. It definitely does help support the channel as well. But with that being said, you guys, have a great rest of your day. And I will see you guys next time here at The Holler. Peace.